Hi there, hope you are doing good. So in the last video, we looked at the layout XML file. And in this, in this video, I want to show how you can add log statements to your Android activity class or any class in Android project for that matter, so that you are able to debug and see the, see the application flow. So debugging is a very important concept from a project's perspective uh, because at times you need to see what's going wrong with your project and you want to correct that. So one good way is to add log statements. So for example, I have this main activity class open and in its on create method, I'm going to add a log statement. So I'm going to use verbose log mechanism. Now you need to pass two parameters. You can also use dot D or dot E, which is error log debug V. So let's add V for now. So here the first parameter needs to be your main activity dot this dot get simple okay so what I'll do is I'll create a public static final string tag and this will become main activity dot class dot get simple name okay and I'll use this here as the first parameter and you can do the same and I'll say I'll say in on create okay so let's see when I run this app I want to check if this log gets registered so I'm going to run the app and we'll monitor the logs here Okay, so let's check the app. So this is from the last video and now that the app is launching. Okay. Okay, so it ran and you, you can see this in on create log statement is shown here. Uh, now you can see the log level here is verbose. Now I can, these are the log levels which are available like debug, info, warn, error. So for each of your environments, you can have different log statements. Uh, in production, you have to be careful. You don't want to have too many log statements in the log file basically. So you have to adjust accordingly. But yeah, this gives you a basic idea. So now the app is open and when the on create method got called in main activity, this log statement was shown. So I hope this gives you a basic idea of how to use the log statements. In the next video, we'll move a step further. So until next time, bye.